Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 33 from, from Equations to Inequalities. Example one, what values, what value or values does the variable have to represent for the equation or inequality to result in a true number sentence? Okay, or what values does the variable have to re have to represent for the equation or inequality to result in a false number sentence? So in order to solve these, I'm going to definitely um, focus on the MDOS acronym. Okay. And I spelled it backwards because when we are doing equations, we work the backwards direction. So we do addition and subtraction first, but then multiplication and division, and then exponents and so forth. So here we have addition. So we do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. And what you do to one side, do to the other. Y plus six minus six is Y plus zero, which is Y. 16 minus six is 10. So this is true when y equals 10 and false when y does not equal 10. So any other number, decimal fraction, it doesn't matter if it's greater than or less than 10, it would be false. Okay, next one. y plus 6 is greater than 6. Same rules apply for the greater than symbol except for there's one exception, and that's multiplying and dividing by a negative. But if we don't see that here, I won't mention it beyond this. So this is addition, so the inverse of addition is subtraction. What I do to one side, I am going to do to the other. 6 minus 6 is 0. y plus 0 is y. y is greater than 16 minus 6 is 10. So any number greater than 10 will be true. Any number less than or equal to 10 will be false. False y is less than or equal to 10. Okay. Uh, part C. Y plus 6 is greater than or equal to 16. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 6 minus 6 is 0. Y plus 0 is Y. It's greater than or equal to 16 minus 6 is 10. That is when it's true. This is a true statement when y is greater than or equal to 10, 10, 11, 11.5, 12, and so on and so on to infinity. And this is false when y is less than 10. So 9.9, 9.8, 9, 0, negatives. This, equation, this inequality will be false. Okay. Uh, part D. 3 times g equals 15. The inverse of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times g is g. 15 divided by 3 is 5. This is when this is true, when g equals 5. And it is false when g does not equal 5. In other words, when g is greater than 5 or less than 5. Okay, e. Multiplication again. Divide by 3, divide by 3, 3's cancel, g is less than 5, 15 divided by 3, which is 5, that is true, and this will be false when g is greater than or equal to 5. And finally, f, and again, divide by 3, divide by 3, and we're left with g is less than or equal to 5, that is true, and it is false when g is greater than 5. Example 2. Which of the following numbers, if any, make the equation or inequality true? 0, 3, 5, 8, 10, 14. So I'm going to subtract 4. I'm not just going to plug. You could take 0 and plug it in and say m plus 4 is 4. 4 doesn't equal 12. It's not 0. Plug in 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. It's not 3. 5 plus 4 is 9 and so on. But we're going to get away from the guess and check here in math, and we're going to solve algebraically. That that eliminates all guessing and checking. So we take the sad math approach, and we subtract. We do the inverse of addition, 
and we simply get m equals 12 minus 4, which is 8. So now I know the answer is 8 without checking any numbers. B, inverse of addition subtraction. We can do to one side, you do to the other. m is less than 12 minus 4, which is 8. So m is less than 8 again. 8 was the number. F minus 4 equals 2. The inverse of subtraction is addition. If I add 4 to both sides, I get F equals 6. And this solution, this is not true here. Which of the following numbers, if any, make the equation of inequality true from this set? So the answer to this one would be none. It says if any. And 6 is not in my sample set. So you could have sat here and plugged in every single one of these numbers to see which one's true. And you would never get a solution that would make something from here minus 4 equal to 2. Part D. Add 4. Add 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. F plus 0 is F. 2 plus 4 is 6. I'm looking for any values greater than 6. And 8, 10, and 14 would make this true. So my solution for this would be the set that included 8, 10, and 14. Okay. E, 1 half times h equals 8. To get rid of a fraction, we multiply by its inverse, which is 2 over 1, or simply 2. And we get h, 2 times a half is 1, h, h equals 8 times 2, or 16. There is no 16 here. It's an equal sign, so the answer to this would be no. Okay, and finally, f. Again, we're going to multiply by 2 over 1, or simply 2. 2 times a half is 1, 1 times h is simply h. 8 times 2 is 16. So h is greater than or equal to 16, and when I come back up and look at my set of given values, there is nothing greater than 16. So the answer to this would be none, or we could write it as an empty set, which I hadn't said yet. So nothing in it, just the two set brackets with empty, or a zero with a line through it means the empty set. No solution. So any one of these would be accepted. Okay, now it's your turn. Choose the number or numbers, if any, that makes the equation or inequality true in the following set of numbers. And pause the video and see if you can do these eight problems on your own and then come back and check your solutions. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go through these quickly. You should have the feel for solving one-step equations and inequalities. It's just inverse, inverse, inverse. So inverse of addition, subtraction, minus, minus, m equals that is my answer there. It's up there. I'm going to put it in a set notation. The answer to this is minus 5, minus 5, m less than or equal to 1. So in my set that I have up here, numbers that are less than or equal to 1 are 0 and 1. So those are my two answers. Divide by 5, divide by 5, cancels h equals 8. And that is in my set, so I'm going to, so I have 8 right here, so that is my answer. Since it's an equal sign, that's all it's equal to. Divide by 5, divide by 5, h is greater than 8. So I have a sample set that has more than 8. The two numbers that are greater than 8 are 11 and 17. So there is my solution. Number 5. Multiply by 2 over 1, multiply by 2 over 1. These cancel. Y equals 10 over 1, or simply 10. 10 is not in my set, so the answer to this is the empty set. Oh, not 0. The empty set, the 0 with a line through it, or simply say, no solution. Actually, I don't even want to say that. I want to say not 0 with a line through it, or just say None. There are no numbers in here that equal 10. Okay. Uh, number 6. We're going to multiply by 2. Multiply by 2. 2 times a half is 1. Y is less than or equal to 5 times 2, which is 10. 
I want all numbers less than or equal to 10, which are 8, 5, 1, 0, 0, 1, 5, 8. Always list them in numerical order. And the next one, I add 3, add 3. K plus 3 minus 3 is just simply K. 20 plus 3 is 23. There is no 23 in my set, so I would do the empty set. This, 4, Sure again, there's no 23, no, 17. Add 3, add 3, and I get K is greater than 23. Again, there is nothing greater than 17 up there. Empty, no solution, or you could just say the word none. Okay, that is the end of Lesson 3. Lesson 33, go do your problems.